QuickBooks Online journal entry versus expense. Does it really matter which one you use? This is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, welcome back to another uh, QuickBooks video. So I wanna talk about uh, whether you should use a journal entry or an expense in QuickBooks. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the difference between the two. So let's go over here. What you're gonna do is click on the new uh, tab or button here and we'll go to expense. So if you need to put an expense, and this could be, um, it could be a check that was written, it could be a debit card transaction, it could be uh, a credit card transaction, it could be any number of things. So first of all, you're gonna put, you're gonna put in the payee. So we'll say this is Bob's Burger Joint, and we're going to do a checking account. So we're gonna just assume we went to Bob's, had lunch, and we spent 50 bucks on lunch, and we used our debit card now. Big difference between a credit and a debit. So let's say debit card, so that comes straight out of the checking account. We'll say the payment date, 8-20-2023. Uh, what did you pay with? Uh, we're gonna just call this cash because it is a debit card transaction. For a debit card, I always put in EFT. You can put in debit, you can put in a check number if you wrote a check, whatever the case may be. All right, so then what we're gonna do, we're gonna say the category, let's type in, meals let's say meals and entertainment uh you can type in a description we'll leave that blank and then we'll say the amount fifty dollars okay now if it's billable to a customer of course you can say billable and customer and if it's a taxable um, item that is billed to the customer so we're going to leave that blank this is just a lunch we went out to and we're going to hit save and close all right, now let's do the exact same thing with a journal entry. So if we go up to new and you go over here under other, you're gonna see journal entry. Now, I would advise you to only use journal entries if you're comfortable with accounting and doing journal entries because debits and credits really confuse people and you wanna make sure that you're getting things in the right columns. Okay, so a journal entry, all it is, is basically you're putting an entry into your books, into QuickBooks, uh, your journal, so to speak, your general journal. Now, people use these as a kind of a shortcut and QuickBooks actually puts in this expense button. So enter an expense to make it easier for you to enter items into QuickBooks. Because if you know if you don't have an accounting degree, you don't understand debits and credits, you can't go in and just do journal entries for everything. And so by having that expense entry tab, it just makes it simpler for people to go in and make the entry. But you're doing the exact same thing, all right? So let's go ahead and record this. We'll say it's 820 and we're going to say account. Uh, we'll say meals, all right, meals and entertainment. So a debit is an expense. So we'll say, we'll make this one $55, a little bit different. So a debit increases an expense. So meals and entertainment and expense, we're gonna increase that. You can put a description here and you can put Bob's Burger Joint uh, if you want to, but you do not have to. Now down here, what you're gonna do is you're going to put checking, okay? Because we are crediting the checking account for $55. Now, what you'll notice is this is recording the exact same uh, transaction other than the amount. We're putting in the expense, meals and entertainment, and it's coming out of the checking. That's the exact same thing that happened in the expense input screen. The difference is in the expense screen, you can enter more information. So when you see this in your books, this is all you're going to see. You're going to see meals and entertainment expense, 55 bucks, checking reduced 55 bucks. Now you can put a description, but it's not going to be the same as the information that's in the expense input screen. So let me hit save and close. And you'll see here, if I go over to my chart of accounts, let's see right here, and we go to the register for the checking account down at the bottom. Let me get this off the screen or actually at the top here. You're going to see there's two here for Bob's Burger Joint. This one was an expense and this one was a journal entry, $55 and 50. So it gets you to the exact same spot, but by entering the expense through the expense button, it's going to give you a little bit more details. There is not a one way is not better than another. 
It's just different ways of entering the information. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I'll see you in the next video.